Okay, so what I'm going to be working on today is once again a uh, axe head. Okay, this is a, a friend's from works. It was his uh, grandpa's axe. He wants me to clean it up and put a couple little carvings of wood spirits on here so we can give it to his dad for his birthday because it was his dad's dad's axe. So I'm going to clean up all this here. I'll burn it. I'll lacquer it. I'll put a couple little wood spirit carvings here. Um, I'll clean up all this with my grinder and the wire wheel. I don't have my tripod so I can't film that. So let me just uh, get this all cleaned up here. So this will be a wall hanger. You probably could use it because I'm not going to take these carvings too deep. But it just looks nice as a wall hanger kind of thing. Okay. Forward. Okay, so I got all the most of the old rust cleaned off with the uh, wire wheel here. I left some of the blue on there because it kind of gives it that antique uh, effect and it can show them that it's, uh, it's actually the same axe. I got to sand all this off. I'm going to use my Orbit sander. I think this one, since it's pretty brutal up in there, I think I'll just take the whole head off when I'm working on each piece. Okay, so I think I'm going to take it off right now and then maybe I'll just goddamn sand this goddamn axe. Okay, fuck. Okay, so now I got the axe head and uh, the axe handle separated. It was too sh it was too shitty in here with old screws and stuff like that, and I could pull it off easy. So it's just easier if I take the axe handle off, the axe head off, and separate them to work on them, and uh, it'll be easy to put back together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is set I got 80 grit on this orbital sander, and I'm gonna sand this whole thing. Yep. Okay, so I think we're moving along here pretty good. See, I'm not going to make this thing perfect. Whatever, right? Just uh, clean it up a bit. Make it look antique, kind of. So, now, what I'm going to do is, I got this all cleaned up. And don't forget, I'm going to burn this after, guys. I am going to carve a couple wood spirits in here. One's going to be facing this way. And the other is going to be facing, well, this way. And then maybe one facing this way. Okay, so let me get that uh, drawn on and um, see what happens. Actually, you know what? I'm under. You can see how unsure I am right now. So I'm gonna stop, have some coffee, have a little break, and decide what I'm gonna do. And then you'll see when I come back, I'll be confident about what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do? Yeah. Okay, so I got one face. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I got one right here. The mustache going this way, and one right here. The mustache going that way so what i'm going to use is uh one of my go-to burrs the roto zip the uh, wall and tile cutter okay it's going to be a real thin carving guys real thin Okay, so I got it all, I got the faces all blocked out now, okay? So what my next step is going to be, I'm going to, um, I got this little burr put in here. This is a little metal working burr. You guys, these are little tiny ones, okay? Like this, you can buy these on uh, eBay for like 10 to 20 bucks with shipping included. See, this is a normal size burr I use. That's how small these ones are. I'm just gonna run around, clean clean everything up with this little tiny burr. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut the, the beard hairs in 
with this uh, metal working burr too. This is an aluminum cutter, but a real fine aluminum cutting burr, but it's also a metal working burr. And I'm going to put the beard hairs in with that. So I'm going to make this all part of one video, one clip here. Okay, so I'll put all these beard hairs in, connect them up, line them all up and stuff like that, and make them all flowing. And yeah, okay. Uh, just uh, have a sip of coffee and enjoy it. Life. Enjoy life, people. Enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to start carving with this little small bit. I just wanted to take a second here to uh, wish Pete, the mad scientist, and uh, his beautiful wife, Mrs. Blair, a uh, happy 50th anniversary. 5-0, guys. They've been married for 50 years. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Wow, usually it's uh, about a week anniversary for me and then I get uh, bored and got to move on kind of deal. <laughs> uh, happy anniversary guys, hope you're going to have a great day. Done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with this little uh, bristle 80 grit uh, flopping disc really slow with my uh, Dremel flex shaft. Find these on uh, Amazon guys. Okay so my next move, I got everything sounded to as much as I want. I'm going to, uh, there's any paint in here, put some dollar store paint in the eyes, just a little bit, in the nostrils, the mouth, on both of them. Uh, if there's a, even any paint in here. Special uh, Carving Fusion custom paint holder, guys. If you want to buy these, uh, just get a hold of me at canadian1dudegmail.com and I'll sell you them for a couple grand, one of these things. They work mint. Okay, so let's just... Uh, Put some black paint in these eyes. This just gives it uh, special highlights after you uh, stand, sand it, or uh, Jesus fucking, after you burn it or stain it, whatever. Right, just make so you don't have to burn too in the too much in the eyes. Because if you burn too much in the eyes, you're gonna burn your detail away. Right, so I'm gonna burn this whole axe. And I'm just going to very, very light pass over the beard and all that stuff. So this will just give it some extra. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, I got to uh, go get my torch. It's not here. It's where I carved with my chainsaws. Damn it. Okay, so before I go get my torch, torch, torch. I'm gonna carve these little, it's supposed to look like cracks in the axe head. Like I said guys, this is, this, this is just gonna be wall hanger stuff, so don't worry about degrading the uh, axe head. Even if you're gonna use this, 
of carving so minimal not that deep in here and I'm gonna use once again one of my little tiny same kit my, my little metal working burrs guys on my uh, Dremel flex shaft okay <laughs> Okay, so I got the axe head carving done quickly. It looks like it's kind of cracked. So, then I shined it up. Remember guys, we're not making a goddamn spaceship, so this is good enough. You know what I mean? Good enough. Okay, I gotta go get that torch. Okay, so everything's burnt and going well, okay? It's still warm. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this um, Minwax Poly Shade, put it on, wipe it on, and then wipe it quickly off with this uh, rag. So yeah, just. <laughs> Maybe it's better to use a paintbrush this time. <laughs> What color is this? This is uh, <laughs> Bombay something? I don't know. Okay, so make sure I got everywhere here. I'm gonna wipe up this part off quick. This uh, handle's still warm from torching it, so this stuff's not going to take very long to uh, dry, that's for sure. Okay, so I'll finish this and get back to you. Okay, that's, that uh, stuff is pretty well dry for the most part. So that's a burn. And I use the uh, poly, poly, midwax poly shade. It's still a little bit wet in some spots. But what I'm going to do now is just lightly hit the beard hairs. What grit is this? This is 180 grit. Sandpaper. I'm going to lightly hit the beard hairs just to give a little bit of effect. Just real lightly. So you get the this kind of gives it a little bit more effect, right? So now the last thing left to do is put it back together. Put the axe head on the axe. So I'll go outside and do that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all back together. But it looks pretty nice, eh? 
I think so. Sign your pieces, people! Sign it! Okay, so there it is, all done. One face, two face. Let's see how so we can see this better. So there's your ox there, Robbie boy. Come pick her up. Give it to your dad for his birthday. Carbon fusion ox. Get her done. Just get her done.